my beauty family, welcome back to my channel. For those who is new, hi, my name is Victoria and I'm here to share with you my passion about makeup and skincare. So if you still haven't joined my family, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you will be notified about my future videos. Also, follow me on Instagram and I have a TikTok account with the same user name. Guys, holiday is coming. Yeah, that's right. And we'll finally get to see first holiday editions, holiday sets from different brands. I don't know why, but out of all sets so far, I was really, really intrigued by one specific palette that's literally huge. It's so freaking big. I am a child of 90s. And when I was a kid, we used to have like huge makeup palettes with tons and tons of shadows and stuff like that. And look at that, guys. Look at this freaking palette. This is from Sephora collection. It has literally everything everything when i saw this palette i'm like this is reminds me of my childhood i'm not waiting to be blown away by this amazing formula you know because this whole huge palette retails for 36 dollars and it has 297 dollars value which is like insane it's called holiday vibes and let me tell you guys that it contains 60 eyeshadows 16 lip glosses three brow powders, three cream eyeliners, two highlighters, two blushes, and two bronzers. This is just insane. I can't wait to check this out. And here's how this palette looks. I feel like it has everything that you need in your life, guys. I'm really surprised it doesn't have setting spray here or some kind of mascara. Well, came to my mind. Am I ashamed? A little bit. So here you have it, guys. Here's the eyeshadows. We have mirror here. We have three shades of brow powders, two highlighters, two blushes, and two bronzers. And look at that. So we have two brushes, 16 lip glosses, and three different shades of cream eyeliners. Guys, are you excited? Because I'm super excited. I'm doing oh, yeah! I want to check out this palette badly and also I purchased lashes from Sephora that's called Fringe. Basically we're gonna use them today as well. I thought it will be fun to play with this palette and add some lashes, you know what I mean? So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm really really excited. I can't wait to start playing with this palette. So let's not waste our time and let's jump straight into checking out this palette. So as you can tell, I have no eyebrows right now, so let me take care of this first. And out of these three shades that we have in this palette, I want to use... I want to use... It's so hard for me to hold this palette and show you guys what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use this shade, middle one, to define our eyebrows. Honestly, I love to use brow powder for my eyebrows, so I was pretty excited that I'm gonna get in this palette brow powder. Next, I want to use my clear brow gel from ABH to set my eyebrows. Okay, guys, and so far, what I got from this powder that I don't remember last time when I had such a not pigmented brow product in my life. This is... Usually I use my mini brow palette from e.l.f. and it has two different brow powders and they're like way more pigmented than those. I was able to create pretty decent eyebrows. It's not like it's impossible to play with these eyebrow powders. It just... you're not gonna get like a color payoff that you expect to have. But I like how our eyebrows turn out today, so I'm not quite upset. So let's jump into the best part, creating our eye look. And guess what? I decided to create today two different eye looks so what we're gonna do we're gonna play with some of the shades on my left eye and another shade on my right eye so in this case we will be able to try way more shades than normally two different eye looks why not 
And since I cleaned all my brushes, we have a lot of brushes to play with, so I'm really, really excited. And I'm looking at this palette, I have no idea what type of eye look I want to create today. I definitely want to play with blue tones here. So let's do one eye with a blue, another eye with maybe brown, yellow, something that will have kind of autumn vibe, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna start from this white shade. And I'm gonna set my eyelid using this shape. Next I'm gonna use this beautiful blue shade and I'm gonna apply it all over my eyelid. So I'm using the same fluffy brush and let's see what pigment we're gonna get from this shade. Okay, next I'm gonna apply a little bit of this shade and I'm gonna use this for our outer portion. Mm, let's switch to this really, really deep blue shade and let's apply this one to our outer portion. You know, this formula kind of reminds me, remember I was trying a shadow palette that has like a lot of shades, it was from Ukraine and I was planning with specifically blue shades, kind of the same vibe, kind of really similar formula and the price point was just insane. I will link that video down below so you can check this out, we created a really really cool look. If you are really really careful and just pressing shades you're getting payoff that you want. Next, I'm going to apply this shade and I'm going to press it at the center of our eyelid. It's really, really powdery shade and I didn't quite expect to feel... Oh. Nope. Okay, let's switch to this shade. Still powder. Our last hope that we literally left for our inner portion, this shade. Okay guys, I'm gonna grab my setting spray, I'm gonna spray it onto my brush and I'm gonna try apply this last shade by pressing it to our eyelid. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of this shade to the center of our eyelid. So I'm going to spray my setting spray again. I don't know what to tell you about this whole situation that's going on in our eyes. Let me just define my lower lash line by using the same matte shades, basically. I want to start playing with our right eye from this shade. This is going to be our transition shade. Next, I'm going to jump straight into this shade. And this shade, I'm going to apply to our outer portion, basically blending this. Oh, this shade is really, really pigmented. I'm kind of surprised. Next, let's go to this orange shade. And this is going to be at the center of our eyelid.
that's so funny when you're layering the sheets the shade on the bottom literally disappeared when you're applying something on the top are those shades supposed to work like one per time or something like 80 shades for 80 days type of thing <laughs> Next, I'm gonna use this yellow shade, and it's gonna be a color of our inner Porsche. I hate to say this, but I really like this gradient. It looks really, really good color-wise, you know what I mean? Next, I want to apply the same shades to our lower lash line. Next, there's this gorgeous yellow shimmer that I'm gonna apply to our inner portion. I'm gonna at least make an attempt to do this. That's actually pretty decent. I feel like they did pretty fine on the right side of the palette and with this blue shade they like just gave up, you know, like that's fair enough for this price. I actually really like it. Next I want to use this shade and I'm gonna press it with my finger to the center of our eyelid. That's pretty nice. So next I want to use this blue liner for my left eye and this kind of brown shimmery liner for our right eye. Should we try to use this baby brush? I guess let's do this. Oh, this blue one is really pigmented. I don't see anything. Do you guys see something? Because I don't see anything. I mean, it works. Okay, that's kind of maximum I could get from this liner because when I started to actually draw it literally erasing everything but when I'm pressing this like that I'm getting some pigment. Let's check out this brown liner. I hope I will not destroy our right eye because I really like the eye look we have here. Mm, it's actually really soft. Now I want to use my Rare Beauty mascara and I'm gonna apply a few coats of mascara and then it will go with that Luscious from Sephora. So the lashes by themselves are pretty nice. I'm not a big fan of the shape, but quality-wise they are pretty good and they are really, really easy in application. Okay, so the lashes are really lightweight. I kind of even enjoyed applying them, which is like surprising. So now I'm gonna check out those bronzers, blushes and highlighters and I'm gonna mix all of them to create at least some kind of definition on our face. So basically I'm starting from bronzers, I'm mixing these two shades and I'm gonna try to build it. You know what guys, I'm not quite mad on bronzers, they worked for me really nicely, love the shades, which is like shocking. Next, let's try those blushes, that's pigmented. Oh, this is so pretty! Let's go over with my sponge because I went really heavy-handed with these blushes. And next I'm mixing these two highlighters. hands down out of all of this palette this highlighters blushes bronzers part is the best part also i want to highlight inner corners and i'm gonna use one highlighter for this eye which is like a little bit colder shade and warmer shade i'm gonna use for this eye i feel like it's perfect Ooh, awesome next i'm gonna wipe my lips and we're gonna play with these lip glosses 
I'm so excited! Guys, knowing me, I'm gonna jump straight into this The Darkest Shade. So let's apply... Ooh! Ooh. Look at that! Okay, guys, now tell me who expected that. Tell me, did you expect that? Look at this freaking shade. Okay, forget about our eye look right now. Just look at my lips. They are so nice. And what actually insane is the formula. This is so good. It's not sticky. It looks so freaking beautiful. Come on, it's so stunning. You know what? Let me wipe this one and let me apply this red one next to this one. This is like crazy because you don't expect them to be as creamy as they are. And when you're dipping your brush, just look at this. Okay, guys, excuse my lines, but look at that. I mean, hands down, this is the best part of all of this palette. Shadows were sucks. But these lip glosses, they are so beautiful. Come on, you would spend like, you know, at least 15 bucks for shades like that. And you're getting here so many shades. This is so beautiful, isn't it? I like it a lot. I like how comfortable it feels on our lips. I like everything about this. The whole vibe is just amazing. You know what I'm thinking? I kind of look like a clown right now. So let me apply. There is one shade that looks really, really calm and nice. This one, it's kind of a frosty shade. So let's check this one out. Oh, those two shades. Oh, I'm telling you, those are so, so stunning. By the way, guys, if you want me to try on all of these glosses in one of my next video, just let me know. I will do this for you because I feel like those shades are amazing. <music> This one is a really beautiful frosty shade. I really, really like it. So far, I enjoyed using all of these lip glosses. I can't wait to wear that first plum berry type of lip gloss. You know, when I will go out, it looks so stunning. So now I'm gonna set my face. guys so today we were reviewing huge palette from sephora that's called holiday vibes it's just insane what you're getting for this price i'm like shocked so let's start from brow powders i feel like even elf formula works better than those ones i mean i'm not mad on my eyebrows today just because i feel like you know you can't really mess with powder and i added a coat of my favorite abh clear brow gel and if you still haven't seen that video where i was trying a lot of new products from sephora that are really really hyped check that out because i bought like 300 plus dollars worth of makeup and some of the products that i purchased became my go-to products on a daily basis which is like really impressive yeah you can't really mess with powder you know what i mean but it's not even as pigmented as my powder from elf which is like insane because that one retails for three dollars so eyeshadows so take a look at my left eye i'm so mad so so mad <sighs> like when i started to play with shimmers it was like 
No. But take a look at my right eye. Even though you can't really layer those shadows, because if you're applying one shade on the top of another, you're literally erasing previous shade. I know I'm familiar with this because I've tried a lot of different formulas from a drugstore, and I can tell you for sure that if you're a big fan of drugstore eyeshadows, you went through this as well. But I like this eye a lot, actually. I like everything about this. It's really settled. It's really autumn type of look and I want to recreate this look again. What I don't really like is that a few minutes ago my eye look was way more pigmented but it's literally disappearing so something for you guys to know. I pretty enjoyed using that bronzers, blushes were really pigmented and pretty good highlighter is okay oh guys by the way those liners i'm not a big fan of them when i applied that blue liner on my hand and i accidentally touched it it's literally like almost disappeared as well so don't rely on that liners <laughs> i don't know what to tell you about this brush it's just something for you to play with and lip glosses oh they are so beautiful! They are so, so beautiful! One more time, if you want me to swatch all of them, leave me a comment down below. I will show you guys how do all of them look. I applied something that wouldn't look crazy on our lips with those two eyes, you know what I mean? And oh, I'm just in love with these lip glosses. Those two shades, berry one and red one, aren't they stunning? Come on! Ooh, I almost forgot that I used those lashes. Those lashes are really, really comfortable on my eyes. I'm really, really impressed. They are so, so lightweight. Uh, Shape-wise, they are kind of weird for me. Maybe I just didn't get used to the lashes like that, but they are so, so lightweight. I love it. So, guys, I had so much fun filming this video and checking out this palette. I'm not gonna lie. Part of this video was really, really frustrating. Another part, like starting from bronzers, I was pretty excited. So, definitely leave me a comment down below and let me know how do you feel about this palette are you gonna purchase something like that do you want to check this out because that's a hell of a palette i'm so grateful for your love and support guys please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you still haven't also let me know would you like me to try another holiday set what specific brand would you like me to check out and yeah thank you for staying with me today i will see you guys in my next video love you all very much bye